four years ago today, on October 16th, 2017, I had this x-ray taken. It is a side view of my neck, meaning it was taken this way. This is my head. This is my neck. If you look close, these rods are not connected. And this vertebrae here, up towards my head, is on an angle falling forward. I was diagnosed with dangerous, life-threatening instability. Every single doctor, physical therapist, nurse, chiropractor, or other medical professional that sees this um, cannot believe that I am, not only did I walk into the ER that day, but they can't believe that I'm alive and that I'm not paralyzed shoulders down. Um, four years ago, my parents and I drove downtown to University of Chicago Medical Center, um, which is where my neurosurgeon was. I had been emailing his nurse and been on the phone with his nurse over the course of 12 days. He was out of town. My surgeon had done surgery on my spine in September 2017, less than three, week, three weeks um, since like this happened. I complained of severe neck pain while in the hospital and I knew it wasn't normal pain. It wasn't because of surgery. It wasn't muscle spasms. This was different. And the last thing I was told by the resident was, you don't look sick enough to be in the hospital. And at that, I was discharged. I got home. I got on my computer. I sent an email to my surgeon letting him know about the pain I was experiencing, how I didn't feel comfortable leaving, and how his residents would not listen to anything that I was saying. Um, I was scared and hesitant to go back without him being there because they were they're overzealous. Um, October 3rd, 2017, my mom came into my bedroom to wake me up. And I was really, really, really hard to get aroused. Um, I could hardly open my eyes. I could hardly move. The pain I was experiencing was a pain that is indescribable. I would move literally a millimeter and would be screaming in pain. The pain would make me like white knuckle grab, you know, put my hand into fists or grab my pants or grab the armrest, whatever it was. Um, I had had surgery from C6, which is, this is your C6, all the way down to my low back. And this pain right here, <laughs> this pain hurt more than any other part of my back. Over the course of 12 days, my neck slowly fell forward, my head, like this. And I felt every single increment. I would be in the car and, you know, the dry our driveway has a bump. And I, because of the pain that that bump produced in my neck, I would rather walk down the length of the driveway, walk over the bump, and then get in the car. And then we would drive. So four years ago today, um, I have a lot to reflect on. I look at this x-ray and I wonder, you know, why me? Because there are so many other people out there that have had similar neck injuries who are, you know, paralyzed and in a wheelchair for life. And here I am. I couldn't walk and take normal steps. I could only shuffle my feet while staring down at the ground. But I walked into the ER and I went through a torturous month of being put back into a halo brace. Um, a halo brace is screwed into the skull, so if you look, like there's a scar. 
there's a scar, there's a scar, and then I have one above each ear. And the halo brace is used to stabilize severe um, neck fractures. So I, um, I carried this photo around in my pocket for a really, really long time. Just like this. And I walked around and when I would have my hand in my pocket, it was my reminder that I was here for a reason. There is a purpose for all of this. Miracles do happen. Um, this is a miracle right here. This x-ray, the fact that I can move my arms and I can move my legs. My pastor at church recent, recently said in one of his messages about how our relationships with God uh, can grow deeper and when um, we go through challenges. I am not here to preach at you. For me and my beliefs, my relationship has grown because I've seen the impossible become possible. And so today, being the four year anniversary of being admitted to the hospital and undergoing three surgeries in the next month, um, I just want you to advocate for yourself when something does not feel right. I want you to listen to your gut. And I want you to know that the impossible is possible and there's always hope, even during like the darkest storm possible. And I've been there, I've been in the lowest of lows, but I'm still here and you can still be here and you can turn those storms and try and turn them into purpose. But that's it. That's all I have. I'm working on a video, but, uh, that's all I want to say. It's four years since this injury and I'm alive.